Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in the new chapter, which is chapter 7, Hello Alkin. In this chapter, there are going to be two subtopics altogether, which is 7.1 Introduction and 7.2 Chemical Properties. So, in this video, we're going to focus on 7.1 Introduction first. So in this video, we're going to look into the general formula of Hello Alkin, where it can be represented by Rx here. We're also going to draw the structure, classify the Hello Alkin into primary, secondary, and tertiary, as well as the methyl haloalkin. We're also going to do the naming of haloalkin according to the IUPAC nomenclature. So without any further ado, let us start. So haloalkin is also known as the alkyl halides. They are a group of the chemical compound consisting of alkyl with one or more halogen links, such as chlorine or fluorine, where both are the example of halogen. So Let's say if you have a ethane, okay, so you know that this is an alkene with two carbon. So this is known as alkene. It will have a formula of C2H6 and specifically it is known as ethane. But now for haloalkene, one of the hydrogen here is being replaced by a halogen group which is X, or we can change it into um, a specific example. Let's say if we are changing one of, the halogen, one of the hydrogen here into halogen group, which is Br. So now it's going to be haloalkene because halogen is in the alkene group. So it's going to be haloalkene and the name is going to be bromoethane. And it's going to have a formula of C2, H, just now it's H6, now it becomes H5. Because one hydrogen is replaced by a bromine. So it's going to be C2, H5. Okay, so from alkene, when one hydrogen is being replaced by halogen, it's going to be known as haloalkene. And the name ethane is going to be bromoethane for this case. Okay. And as mentioned, they're going to have a formula of C2, C and H2N plus 1X, which refer to here. And the functional group for haloalkene is CX here, which refer to the CBR here, which, re which refers to the uh, haloalkene class of compound. And haloalkene can also present in the cyclic molecule where it have a formula of C and H2N minus 1X. And this, in this case, uh, we can see that this is an example of bromocyclopentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and promo. So bromocyclopentane. Also, we can do the classification of haloalkene. So, uh, we will look into the carbon that is attached to the halogen group. So, for this case, carbon is not attached with any of the alkyl group. So, here going to be a methyl haloalkene or known as the methyl halide. For this case, this carbon here is going to be attached with one alkyl group. So alkyl group here can be like CH3, can be C2H5, or C3H7, and so on. So it can be a long carbon chain, or it can also be represented by a cycloalkyl. Okay? So, in this case, carbon is attached with one alkyl group, and hence it's going to become a primary haloalkyl. For this one, this carbon here is going to be attached with one and two alkyl group. So it's going to be secondary haloalkyl. For this one, this carbon here is attached with three group of alkyl group, so it's going to be tertiary haloalkyl. And now, um, if we want to expand this structure here, we can get C, H, H, and X. So this is also an example of haloalkene, and then it is attached with a benzene ring. So we can we can uh, assume the alkyl, the benzene ring here, or the phenyl group here to be R. So basically, the carbon here is attached with one R group here. So it's gonna be a primary. Haloalkene. And now, 
this situation shows that the aromatic is attached directly with the halogen group. Okay, so the H here is now changed to halogen, for example, Cl here. So for this case, this is known as the aryl halide, not a primary haloalkene. This is known as the aryl halide because aryl refer to the aromatic that attach directly with the halogen. Aromatic ring direct kepada halogen. Yang tadi ada carbon baru X dan ada alkyl group of benzene. Okay. Now we're going to do the nomenclature for the haloalkene. So, um, the same principle as what you have learned in alkene. Okay, cara dia adalah sama macam korang menamakan alkene. So now, we're going to look into the longest carbon chain, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we do the numbering 1 here because it is attached with the substituent of bromine. Okay, we don't do the numbering 1 here because here is bromo. So we will choose the one that uh, will have a list a number of substituent and follow the alphabetical order. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to have pentane. And then the substituent that we have is methyl at carbon number 2 and methyl in the carbon number 4. So we're going to have bromo and then we're going to have dimethyl. So bromo is going to be attached at carbon number 1. So 1 bromo. And then the two metal group going to be attached at carbon number 2 and carbon number 4. So we're going to dash 2, 4, dimethyl pentane. Alright, now for this, we're going to have um, a cyclic compound, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We give the numbering 1 because bromo start with B. And 1, 2, 3 here is refers to a propyl. Okay, so it's going to be cyclopentane because of 5 carbon here. And we're going to have propyl. And we're going to have bromo. Follow the alphabetical order. So bromo will take number 1. And propyl going to take number 3. So it's going to be 1 bromo, 3 propyl, cyclopentane. Okay. And for this case, uh, it's still the same principle apply, which is when you know that it is a cyclopentane. And then we're going to have a substituent of bromo, substituent of methyl, and substituent of chloro. Okay, so for sure we know that this is going to be carbon number one. And now we're going to do the numbering that give the lowest set of locants. Okay, so I'm going to do from this side. One, two, three, four, and five. So I know that it is going to be a cyclopentane. Okay, and it's going to be uh, attaching with a methyl and then chloro and then the alphabetical, the earliest alphabetical order is bromo. Okay, so bromo is going to attach at carbon number 1, cyclo is going to attach at carbon number 4, and methyl is going to be attached at carbon number 2. Okay, so B. C and M. Follow alphabetical order and then you do the numbering. Okay, so it's going to be 1 bromo, 4 chloro, 2 methyl cyclopentane. Okay, so I'm going to erase it here and these are the names which is 1 bromo, 4 chloro, 2 methyl cyclopentane. So um, it's going to give us the lowest set which is 1, 2, and 4. Okay, we cannot do the numbering from, sorry, so we cannot do the numbering as here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Because if we're doing this way, what we're going to have get is 1, 3, and 5. So our set of locker going to be 9, but here we only got 7. And that is why we follow the red color here. 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be anti-clockwise instead of clockwise. So this is why we take this one. Okay. Now we're going to look into the last part, which is the physical properties of the haloalkane. So this is an example of alkene, where in this case, it is known as ethane because it has two carbon. And here is the example of haloalkane, where one of the hydrogen is changed into chlorine. So it's going to be chloroethane. So in this case, you can see that the chloroethane will have a higher boiling point in comparison to an alkene. This is because, first, the molecular mass of haloalkane will be much greater than alkane. Okay, so here it's going to be 12 plus 3, 12 plus 3. So it's going to be a total of 30 gram per mole. But here it's going to have 64.5 gram per mole because of the chlorine is much, much heavier than the hydrogen atom. So first is bigger size. And at the same time, haloalkane will have a polar bond. as what you have learned. It's going to have a dipole, a polar bond, where chlorine is much more electronegative than carbon. So the electron density is going to be pulled around the chlorine, and hence, this will cause the mu to be not equal to zero, and hence, it is a polar molecule overall. Okay, so you can say that haloalkane has a higher boiling point than alkane with the same number of the carbon atom. So carbon atom, atom there must be sama, dua carbon dan dua carbon. But haloalkane is higher boiling point. This is because um, the electron, this is due to the electronegativity of the halogen atom, which is the chlorine, which makes the carbon chlorine bond to be plora, to be polar and the chloroethane molecule to be a polar molecule overall. Hence, the polar molecule can form dipole-dipole interaction and have a stronger van der Waals forces overall, where in ethane, it's going to have a London dispersion forces. And for this case, it's going to have a dipole-dipole interaction because it is a polar bond. Hence, more energy is needed to break the bond in between the chloroethane molecule, hence the boiling point of the chloroethane, which is an haloalkane, to be higher than corresponding alkene. Okay? So I think that's all for this video. See you again some other time. Bye!